gentleman's time has expired. The chair now recognizes the gentleman from Arkansas, Mr. Crawford, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Corzine, are you licensed to trade securities? Yes. What licenses do you hold? Um, I would have to go back, uh, have all of the... Series well, 3, Series 7, yes. Series 6, and some others, sure. I, and I figured that was the case. Um, do you trade on your own account? Um, not regularly. Have you ever traded on your own account using customer funds? On my own account using customer funds? No. Okay. As, 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 uh, to my knowledge, I haven't. Okay. I don't. I don't trade for my personal account. Has any employee, to your knowledge, of uh, MF Global ever used client funds to trade on proprietary? I'm going to. I'm going to repeat what I had said to okay. the other folks. Got that. Um, if you did have knowledge of an employee trading on on a customer account, what would the penalty be for that employee? Well, certainly, as far as I could ever imagine, they'd probably be terminated. Okay. Have you ever dismissed an employee uh, at MF Global for any kind of malfeasance that would be of that nature? Um, I think there is a fairly notorious uh, trading situation that occurred in 2008 before I joined the firm and there are other disciplinary actions that have been taken through the years. But under uh, under your direction? There are some, yes. Okay. Um, can you describe some of that malfeasance that required there to be disciplinary action or possibly termination? Um, I, I really would like to have specifics about that so that I don't get into talking about an individual and that I don't have my facts straight. Okay. Okay. Um, I just read an article that, that Reuters put out about a farmer who had $200,000 in an account, MF Global. It hasn't been returned to him yet. It's been almost a month since MF Global um, uh, filed for bankruptcy. There's no telling when he'll get his money back. Uh, he's missed a deadline for buying his seed, to, you know, pre-purchase discount uh, for next spring's corn and soybean crops. The financial future of his operation is certainly in peril. Most of the farmers in my district, and I think this is true with uh, farmers throughout the country, are really one crop failure away from bankruptcy. The action that we've seen here with MF Global puts them that much closer to bankruptcy themselves. Um, as the former head of a now bankrupt company that this man trusted, in fact trusted to the degree that he'd rather have his money in one of those segregated accounts than he would in the bank. Um, what would you say to that farmer who now is facing bankruptcy of his own, or, or to any farmer that may be in a similar situation? Congressman, as I said multiple times, um, I think about this every day. Um, uh, I could not be more um, regretful of the stress that we are bringing to people's lives. and. I could not be more anxious to see a resolution of where those unreconciled uh, accounts. Let me ask you this. I mean, you, you have an impressive background with respect to financial services, banking industry, and so on. And, and I am going to ask you to speculate. I'm going to ask you to think what you would do in this situation. In all seriousness, I would like to know what we tell farmers that are, are facing this, if you were in the situation where you had potentially 200000 or more, you know, as, as Congressman Tipton said, twenty or thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000, what would you do if you were that farmer? Because I, I, I understand that you also have a little history in farming. My father was one of those folks that went to the grain elevator and hedged out uh, future crops. So, I mean, I, I'm, in, I'm really not trying to... I know you've expressed uh, remorse here, and I appreciate that. But what I, I'm, I'm in all seriousness trying to figure out, you know, how do you advise these farmers who are in this situation? Congressman, I'm not sure I have specific advice. Um, uh, I only uh, can say that this process of seeking to find these funds is one that absolutely needs every resource possible to make sure that it um, is accomplished. Um, I 
think I'll have to leave it there. Sure. Last question. Do you have a compliance officer at MF Global? Absolutely. Sure. And, and at what point did he bring this to your attention? And how often did, did he review the activity? There, there, are, you know, there are a broad set of compliance issues and internal audits and, um, as I suggested, Sarbanes-Oxley internal audits that uh, confirm that kinds of operations are operating the way they're supposed to. And so those are ongoing or daily. Okay. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Gentlemen.